start recording. Hello and welcome to the 41st installation of my video log here on YouTube. Um, today will be a brief update. I got a new piece of equipment, uh, a uh, eight man from Travel. Um, that I'm going to uh, to show you. Um, I've stopped watching unboxing, uh, and so I'm not doing an unboxing. Uh, I've already done that before. Uh, I just take you on a trip to see uh, what the camera can do and give you a first impression. I've been in here for a while. It's uh, called Haus am See. It's near the uh, Dechstein Aweia, one of the uh, many uh, seas that Cologne have. And um, yeah, I wanted to have some, some good light to start looking at uh, the uh, travel. It's a camera made by Aitman. It's about the size uh, of a GoPro. The price on Indiegogo was quite okay uh, for a 4K. And um, it also had a number of uh, manual things, uh, manual settings uh, that I want to share with you. First we see on uh, is a nice setting screen. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. It offers to shoot uh, 4K at 30fps. Uh, it also has a uh, uh, image size setting, time-lapse, loop recording. Um, I'll briefly set it up the way I wanted to and then have a look at the actual footage. Um, so I've set it up uh, the way I wanted it uh, to and now I'm starting recording. Um, I've left everything at default, so white balance is auto, the scene is auto, ISO is auto, everything uh, set it just to 1080 for 60 frames, which is what I hopefully the, the video will have in the end. Um, so interestingly, and the, one of the reasons why my abort is because I can modify, manually set the ISO, I can manually set by balance and I also can manually set the exposure settings. And um, I can change the, uh, the lens angel. Um, let's um, have a look. So I'll go to uh, the uh, lens angel, lens angel, lens angle. Set it to medium. Um, I hope there is a different in uh, in fitting. And again, I, I let the camera record for for a short while. We shall see. Um, how the footage actually looks. So first the uncut footage and then the footage with the uh, medium angle setting. And the last setting for now is uh, the narrow um, which almost looks like uh, identical to at least from behind the camera uh, identical to, to what I have now. Yeah I would show all uh, different versions uh, one from the camera taking uh, the actual shot and then cut in the actual shot from um, the travel itself so that you can compare. An interesting accessory is uh, the uh, kind of dustproof and waterproof uh, box that the travel comes in um, and has access to uh, all the ports, it has access to all the no knobs and buttons, uh, it closes watertight. But the interesting thing is, is that it has the standard GoPro mount on uh, the box. So if you want to put it um, into uh, onto a helmet, if you want to put it onto, uh, or even on just on a tripod, you have to have to put it into the uh, into the box. And the one thing that it does not cannot do really well in the box is record audio. So that I find, find kind of interesting. Um, uh, it's very different. I, I hadn't thought of it and actually it had completely skipped my mind that I cannot use the camera alone, uh, basically on, on a tripod, on a mount or whatever. I always need the, uh, 
needed in the uh, watertight box. Um, and then I definitely need to have a separate mi microphone because, uh, yeah, I mean, one of the things that it does not have is a microphone. A microphone uh, connector, that is. For the last bit, uh, let me try to capture a little bit of B-roll with the camera. Um, see how that looks like. And uh, then we shall head home. That's it for today. Uh, I hope you did like uh, the short video on the uh, travel. If so, please uh, do leave a like, comment and subscribe. Really appreciate uh, for you watching and staying with me that long. Um, so yes, please uh, do leave a like, subscribe and comment. Uh, all the links to our social media are in the uh, description below and hope to see you in the next one.